What's going on my Sanctuary Galaxy, it's Sanctuary Man here, so this is my review of Kidderhood. This movie was released in March of 2006, directed by Mahaj Kupa, written by Noel Clarke, who starred in this movie, and later on direct the sequels. I'll talk about the sequels later on in this review. Um, I wasn't old enough at the time, was a young kid. Um, this movie, like I said, was released in March of 2006. Release date was the 3rd of March of that year. You know, 11 years old, soon to be 12, later on in the year. I saw it years later, uh, in my teenage years. Um, the first time I saw Kiddohood was in 2010. I was about 15, soon to be 16. Watched it, liked it. I was more, watched more times in the next couple of years. The last time I saw this movie was about, was it 2015? 2016, I guess? 2017? It's been a long time. It got me hooked of these HUD um, TV shows and movies, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of Top Boys, you know, Summer House and the recent one, and a big fan of Sheamus, you know, it's got a lot of hooliganism, you know, drugs, sex and crime, that's the whole part of this uh, movie. I like uh, yeah, My Murder, stars John Biega, you know, from Star Wars, um, Honey Trap, um, see, The Governors. Wild Bill, because it's based in London, I liked it, you know, it got me hooked, um, I, you know, I saw it more times over the years, I saw, I saw it recently on Netflix, um, it was a good movie, wasn't perfect, it was rushed in my opinion, and it was a short movie, um, anyway, I'll get to those problems, and also there was mass some flaws in this film, I'll get to those problems later on in this review, um, so, the budget of this movie was 600, was it, six, yeah, 600,000 pounds, you know, that's, um, six, zero, 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 yeah, yeah, six, um, 600,000 pounds, that's the budget, and the box office money, I think they received about 1.8 million, and the, the critical uh, response of this film, you know, the reviews were basically positives, you know, you can tell this film was success, they set up sequels, um, I saw the second movie, but not the third one, like I said, I'll talk about the, the sequels later on in this review, um, anyway, so, let's talk about the cast of this film, so, like I said, the start of this movie was No Clark, my first exposure to No Clark was Doctor Who, you know, in the Doctor Who seat right now, yeah, that was way back in 2005 when BBC brought back Doctor Who. He plays Mickey Smith. This is in the first series of Doctor Who in the Christopher Eccleston era. That's my first exposure to Noel Clarke, Doctor Who, and the Hood trilogy. You know, Kidderhood, Adulthood. Um, I think he was in it. That's recently he's in this uh, cop drama show. Um, is it Top Shield it's called? It's him with D uh, Deshane, the guy who played Deshane in Top Boys, so... I like no Noel Clark playing the role of Sam Peel. He's kind of like this bully and a murderer in this movie. And, um, there's one nitpick about Noel Clark as Sam Peel in this, in this movie and the sequels. He is too old for the role, because I think back then, the first movie in 2006, he, you know, right now he's in his mid-40s, but back then he's probably in, like, in his late 20s, early 30s, you know, he's kind of, like, too old for the for the role, but that's besides that, he did a good job, you know, you know, that is Noel Clark, you know, that was my only nitpick uh, for Noel Clark, he's just kind of, like, too old for the role. But anyway, um, we got Emil Amin as Trevor. This is his only movie he was known for because he later on he appeared in um, what's his, what's that movie called? Ma Maze Runner. That'll be in 2014. This was like eight years after uh, Kidderhood. Um, besides, he's been on like TV shows and movies in the UK and also in America. Um, he plays tr uh, Trevor, or, or friends call him Trife, but I'm calling him Trevor. But it's confusing calling him like. Uh, Trife. Uh, I wish they called him Trev, you know, it's short for Trevor, but um, he plays this anti-hero, um, I like his role, uh, Emil Amin. You know, he's, uh, he's only, this is his only uh, movie, and he did a good job. Um, see, you got Adam Deacon as Jay, he's kind of like the best friend of Trevor. He's kind of like an asshole, like, there's one problem about this movie. It's short, um, it was about, I think the movie was, only had it only had about an hour, I think it was an hour, 31 minutes, about 91 minutes, you know. I wish they put more scenes and get more, put, I don't say make it as a snore fest. No, no. I wish they make it like, put it, make it like a two hour movie. I think the sequels were two hour movies. This is like an hour, 30 minutes. I wish they put more time in this movie. 
and you, you get more time to get the characters flesh out, you know, flesh out more of the characters. His character was not developed. He's just like, you know, you know, Trevor's best friend. He's kind of like an asshole in this movie. And you know, same as Trevor, you know, he was like, I don't say he's like Russell, but he's kind of like, they're kind of like wankers. I understand the chavs, you know, we call them chavs in England, you know, in scallies, but in America they call them rednecks. In Scotland they call them neds, but. Yeah, there was one scene, they're in the shoe shop, uh, Trevor basically was chatting up some girl, um, and also stole, um, her, like, purse with the cards, and then Tre and, and Jay kind of snatched the purse in the hands of Trevor, run towards the alleyway, they got in some altercation with some two black dudes, and they end up fighting, uh, and they end up fighting over the purse, they kind of, you know, falling out, and I, I kind of, like, starting to hate Adam a little bit, you know, Adam Deacon's character, you know, he's kind of like, kind of there, his character was more flashed out in the sequel, um, that's just me, anyway, so we got Red Madrell as Alicia, I think there's basically Trevor's uh, ex-girlfriend, they were trying to push this love interest between Trevor and Alicia in this movie, they're kind of falling out because there was, like, she was pregnant, and there was, they're doing this, this rumour like she has this, um, and a fit had like fuck you know having sex with Sam, but in in the later scenes in in the party scene in the like in the in the final act in this film, um she, yeah she said she didn't she was never been with Sam never had sex with Sam so and they found out the baby is Trevor, and Trevor is basically like yeah, you can tell he was, he was young at the time because because he's never experienced that you know you know becoming a dad, or and a father you know it's the same thing but. Anyway, so, they never, they did kiss, you at least they got some love, they're trying to push it a little bit, but I wish they did, like I said, they, if they put more time, you know, get the characters flesh out, focus more of the love, pushing this love interest in, love interest between Trevor and Alicia, maybe, you know, maybe it could be a lot better, that's just me, that's my bit of a nitpick of this film. Yeah, he, you know, he, you know, she appeared in the sequels, um, she did, she did, Good. I'm not saying she's a fantastic actor. I don't think he. I think the only movie he was also known for is the, the Hood ser series. You know, Kidderhood, Adulthood, Brotherhood. That's a uh, Red Mand Mandrel. Uh, Ma yeah, Mandrel. Anyway, the, the, these names are gonna fucking wind me up, man. Anyway, you got um, what's it called? Fenny. Uh, what's it called? Um, what's it called? Fenny Oni Orion as Mooney. He's basically Trevor's second best mate. Like, like again, not enough to flesh their characters. I can't get my opinions on them. They kind of, he's kind of there. He, he's kind of there. You know, I think I think like um, Jay's got more character development than um, Mooney. Um, and also, a bit of a side note, they end up appearing in another movie in 2011, five years after this movie, called Another Hood. Another Hood is not part of the Hood trilogy because Another Hood is basically a Basically a comedy. This uh, you know, this hood trilogy is more focused on drama, but it's just what it is. Um, I'm talking about the cast anyway. Uh, we got Jamie uh, Winstone as Becky. She's kind of like a slag, you know, a slut. You know, she's care about having oral sex with men. There was one scene, her and Alicia going to someone's house and having oral sex with older blokes. You know, <laughs> I know it's t. You can get away in movies because it's rated 15. You know. Um, and also, she appeared, she appeared in a, a TV movie called Babs. It's focused on the, li the life of, you know, the, the acting career of Barbara Windsor. You know, sadly, she passed away last year. Rest in peace, Babs. Um, I thought that was another multiple role for Jamie Winstone. You know, this movie and also playing Barbara Windsor in the 27 movie Babs. Um, that's a, I think it was a TV movie. I saw it um, last year when, you know, Barbara Windsor passed away. It was a good movie. So you got Conwell, you got Conwell John playing Curtis. Curtis is basically um, Trevor's uncle, and also he he'll, he'll play Sam. Uh, what's his name? Not uh, Sam James. I almost call him Sam Wilson. You know the guy from from the end of the Marvel movies, but he plays Sam uh, James in the yeah you know, the soap EastEnders. Um, but, you know I don't want to talk about EastEnders, but this is gonna be a a, break, a brief rant. I'm not a big fan of Dexter Hartman. He's basically a character from EastEnders. He's more of a dickhead, just to throw his weight around. Anyway, I don't know. Uh, anyway, him as Curtis was good. He was kind of like a drug dealer. And I'm trying to do his impression. He's got a bit of a Caribbean accent because I'm I'm mixed race by myself. Um, 
<clears throat> I'm gonna try. <clears throat> um, he w he wants Trevor to carve this dude's guy. He, he was working with Trevor. I'm no, he's not working with Trevor. He's working with Curtis. I'm guessing he like fucked up. Like he, he you know, he screwed him out of his money. I'm get that's typical drugs type of TV shows and movies. Like you gotta pay the drug dealer back. And that guy, well, if he's called Andre, he was a guy with the um long hair. He got tied up onto onto, onto a table, and Trevor made uh, yeah, really Curtis made Trevor to cut his face with a I think it was a pen knife. I'm gonna do his not impression, but he's speaking in a, a, a Caribbean accent. I'm guessing he's like Jamaican, you know, or Trinidad or, or from Trinidad and Tobago, or any part of the Caribbean. So anyway, so he said like I want you. He said I want you to carve carve. A cut, a carve, a C to the corner of his eye, to the corner about his mouth. Because Caribbean accents are more fast-paced. You know, he wants him to carve a C in, in that dude's face. He managed to do that. The guy ended up here in the sequel. You know, a bit of a side note. Um, and also, when Tre Trevor's a bit hesitated about to cut that dude's face, and and he and then he curses says, "Guard the fucking line. Guard the fucking line." You know. Yeah, yeah, I'll try to say it again. Say, I, carve, I want you to carve a C to the corner of his eye and carve about his mouth. You know, you know, I'm, I'm Caribbean myself. You know, don't get me wrong. Anyway. So, anyway, so he ended up, le he ended up leaving. And also, there was a gun. There was a fucking gun. He threw like a, you know, in the beginning scenes of the movie, Trevor has like this gun underneath like this blue bag and put it in a skip. And also, it was a small r pistol. And also, I think he gave it. I think it was a present of Curtis. I don't know. Anyway, he kind of run away because he's about. Trevor wants to hug. Uh, no, Curtis wants to hug Trevor. Trevor runs away. He kind of he's emotional. He doesn't want to end up like his uncle because he kind of kicked his ex girlfriend to the curb. And same as his friends, he kind of threw the gun, uh, threw it into the water. I think we near like a ship canal. Um. Anyway, so. Anyway, so basically, uh, um, let's see, what's that about? Anyway, sorry, I'm going in the blank here, you know. Anyway, so let's talk about the beginning of this movie. Um, anyway, so they focus on one character called Katie. Katie is the shy girl who gets picked on by Sam and this girl called Shanique. I'll get to the Shanique character a little bit shortly. Sam kind of confronts her. You know, uh, called her a bitch, spit her, not in the face, but in the back of the head, ask her where Claire is. Claire is basically in this movie, in the start of this movie, uh, she was making out with Jay, and behind, really under, behind a tree, and later on in the movie, they kind of kiss uh, in, a, in the cab. You know, at least we. You know, also, yeah, Sam is a. I, talk, I, forgot, I was about to talk about Sam's more of Sam's character. Sorry, there's a reason I black. You know, I forgot. I go. Anyway, so Sam is kind of like the bully. Like I said, he's kind of like a murderer. Like I said, you know, called um, he called uh yeah, call uh, he called Katie a bitch, spit in the back of the head, and and also he called uh, Katie's uh mate um a fat bitch. Anyway, so he kind of bullies uh Trevor. Trevor. He's not taking Sam's shits. He got punched in the gut in the beginning scene of the film. It made um you know Jay and um, Mooney hugging each other. They call call them pussyos. I don't know what they mean. I think they I think they, I think they think they're gay or something. Maybe he is like he's like hug hug them. He's like hug them blind. You know call him blad because this is a British film. You know it, I don't think it'll react more than in, for an American viewer. It's not for the American viewers. It's more like if you're from this country. He has like hug him up, blood, and also he yeah, had Sam holding like a mobile phone, took a picture of you know J N Mooney hugging, and also minutes late, you know minutes later, you know this is in Sam's uh, apartment. Um, he end up, you know, he end up, yeah, Jay's kissing Claire, and, and also Sam appeared. He also, the you know, he had uh, Trevor Mooney and Jay basically went to Sam's apartment. Um, a ring. I think she, yeah, they kind of harassed Sam's little brother who appeared in the sequel. He tied. He kind of locked him in the balcony, and he had Sam confronting them. He's like, "What the fuck are you doing in my yard? He's like, hey, dizzy blood. You think you come here? You're bad. I see you there. I'm gonna fuck you up, blood." He's trying to friend uh, Claire. I'm guessing. I don't get the whole this relationship between Sam and Claire. They did. I. I don't know. We see much in the sequel, but I don't get it. I feel like I like friends with benefits, and this is uh, like later on in the movie. You had Sam confronting Claire. 
in the um the apartment um in actually in you know class room in her house, and I think they bring up and uh, they bring it up like Sam having this affair with no really making out with Alicia. I don't know what they do with it. Um, I, I just like don't get it. You know this is the problem with the flaws. You know the plot is getting confusing. You know like I say it's, I like a mo I like this movie. Otherwise I'm not a big fan of it. I'm not a big. I might not see this movie or the sequel or the sequel adulthood. Anyway, so and also let's get back to the Katie scene. This is the most talk about character. It's set up like what's going on in the rest of the film. Yeah, like I said, you know, after Sam basically spin her face, not spin her face, spit, spit at her, call her a bitch. Um, you had Shanique basically beat Katie in the classroom without the teacher noticing. The teacher wasn't there. I think it was began, the class wasn't started yet. You had class, basically Shanique beat uh, Katie uh, in the classroom, you know, smacking her. And you know she taught she make she make trying to tell Kate she's a virgin she didn't respond she didn't punch her in the nose, make her pick a ring, and she's she is like a character was shy called her because they called her a slag or a virgin, and she kind of let left left the classroom. I felt sorry for the character man she was getting picked on very easily, because. And yeah because Shanique called her a virgin and you get Trevor conf confronting Shanique it's like she's not a virgin. And Shanique says, "How do you know?" It's a if she was a virgin, was it? Last, you know, it's the time. It's the day I turn you down. I don't know what they do. And also, Trevor mentioned, that, yeah, this is minutes later. Um, she she had she fucked with Katie. I'm guessing like she had like, a history with Katie, and never like gone into that direction. It's just like what what's going on? This is a real problem about this plot. It's kind of getting confusing. It's like she's. I think that could be the reason why you know Tre Trevor and Alicia broke up. I don't know. I'm not saying she's the province you know, to end the relationship. I think it's at the time when they broke up. You know, I don't say they were girlfriend, and, girlfriend and boyfriend. This Trevor and Katie. I think they just kind of yeah you know, had sex and that's it. You know, and you know, and basically Sadiq really, uh, Sadiq really presumed that she's a, a virgin, and she's not. And also the Shanique character, you never see her ever ever again after this movie. Her friend. Pid in the scene. There was one scene. They're in the sub in the in the sub train between her and Be Alicia and Becky and you know one of Sonique's uh, friends. You know you never see her ever again after the sub train. I don't know. I don't want to get into that. I'm not. That's a bit of a side note. So anyway, and also Sam nudged her. This was after school. She, yeah, she um yeah he nudged Sam, and he told Kay that if you if you tell your dad, I will kill you. And I felt sorry about this character, man. You know, she was, you don't deserve the shit. And she ended up commit suicide. She write like, she was listening to her music. Her dad saw her like, her, the, there was a cut her about above her eyebrow and her lip. Maybe her nose, you know, she got punched in, in the nose by Shanique. And then also, and also she, yeah, she was, she removed her uniform where like, a, I think it was a hoodie. And also, she was listening to music, and uh, yeah, she hanged herself. And you got Lenny, played by Raphael Spall. He looks like uh, Spencer Pratt, you know, Heidi and Spencer. Um, he kind of confronts Sam. This was li this was like in the final moments of the movie. Like, he confronting um, Sam because he found like the suicide note of Katie and confronts her. And Sam's like, he, he kind of put this small pistol. I think it's the same pistol like Tre Trevor has. He put he put it towards his head. He said, "Give me give me one reason about she's a, you know give me one reason you don't deserve to die." Sorry, I'm trying to remember the dialogue that well. But anyway, and also yeah, that's about yeah. He's kind of like I think Sam really killed Katie. He didn't really did he didn't like stab her or shot her. He made her commit suicide. You know he's a bit of a monster. You know Sam Peel. You know the guy from this movie and the, not in the sequel. You know I talked about the sequel later on in this review. Anyway, uh, and also. The second murder, he killed Trevor, you know, because he, you know, like I said, he stole, um, you know, Jay's ga uh, Game Boy, I think it was a Game Boy XP. I know, because I grew up in that era, you know, it was, a, I played a Game Boy Color, Game Boy, uh, was it Advance, Game Boy, uh, uh, Nintendo, yeah, Game Boy XP, yeah, Nintendo XP, you know, it's a, D a DS, sorry, a DS, XP, um, Advance, you know, I'm more of a PlayStation guy, not... 
you know, not, I'm not refer, uh, yeah, PlayStation, yeah, PlayStation guy, I'm, I'm more in my PlayStation, uh, games more than my Nintendo games, not a big fan of, um, Xbox, anyway, um, you know, cause in the beginning of the movie, uh, G G yeah, Sam stole Jay's Game Boy device, and then minute later on, they went to, uh, Sam's apartment, took back the, the device, and also, yeah, Sam basically beat the fuck out of Trevor with the bat, yeah, Jay came down, came down the rescue. Yeah, to put the differences aside, after the event from earlier, you know he got beaten up by Sam, and you got uh, Alicia trying to confront Sam about um, fuck. Just you see, she said about you. Everyone knows that you didn't fuck me, and Sam said, "Why did I fuck you?" And he kind of like um, I think Sam pushed Alicia. Alicia smacked her, and Sam grabbed her by her, by her hair. And then basically you had uh, yeah yeah Trevor uh, tackle down Sam multiple punches and this is a fucking stupid thing and also they had this comfort yeah you had this uh, like I said they kind of put their difference aside make a man say said to Alicia I'm going to change and minutes later you know you had basically you had you know Trevor beating down Sam punching punching him multiple times you had Alicia showing like I thought you would change I said to myself what's going on he saved you lot saved you. I don't get it. And also, yeah, yeah, Trevor, yeah, basically you had Sam hitting Trevor in the stump with the bat. That led to his death. And also, like I said earlier, from when Lenny, that's Katie's older brother in his movie, putting the gun in the head of Sam, saying, give me one reason, you don't deserve to die. And yeah, Tre you, yeah Trevor, who's ble about to bleed out, says he's not worth of it. And he got, uh, you know, like he's fight he breathed his final breath. You know, his light, his, was it light, flashes before his eyes, you know, it, it's cut scenes from the beginning parts of the movie, and he died. That was shocker. That kind of established Sam like a murderer. And also, they kind of flipped the script in the sequel. Um, you know, before we'll get to the, like I said, I'll get to the sequel a little bit shortly, a little bit later on. Anyway, and also in the beginning parts of the movies, like with, um, you know, with Trevor... Uh, Jay and Mooney, they were all dickheads in this movie. I understand the chaps. Don't get me wrong, they're chaps. But there was one scene, they're in the burger joint. Um, tri uh, basically, Mooney was eating a burger. He ate, he don't like onions. I, I'm relate with him because I don't like onions on my burger. He kind of went to, he kind of threw a burger towards the guy, uh, the, the customer, you know, the employees making the burgers. He kind of went, went in, come up, come up, sorry, kind of stumbling. Kind of come up, throw the burger. Uh, you know, the, you know, because uh, I said he he said I uh, you know no onions, <laughs> you know, and then minutes later they're in the cab, and he kind of been giving this um taxi driver some lip, and also the taxi driver is the guy who play Jay uh Jay's dad in In Between Us. I think that was what's his name Terry Cartwright, you know the show from In Between Us. You know I like that show. Um, and also the laugh without paying because like he said about nine pounds twenty. It's like you uh, like that only cost you a tenner. You know I don't know how much the cost in London, but and also they went to a clothes shop and the security guard caught uh, Trevor. He thought Trevor stole a hat, but he's wearing the hat the whole time. You know it's kind of like what it is. It's just so and so. Yeah, um, yeah. It, there were yeah, there were flaws about like the plot was getting a little bit confusing. And like I said, the time was a bit short. It's just, just that's just me. Yeah, he got like um, misjudged by a security guard who thinks he stole the hat, but in reality, he didn't. Um, I yeah, it's just like what's going on. Anyway, so I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, and also yeah, it set up the sequels. You know, in two thousand eight, um, they set up Adulthood that was released in I think it was two thousand eight. Yeah, two thousand eight. Um, it's funny that uh, look at look it on Wikipedia. And this movie was set in 2002, so this is set up in then six year later, it'll be in 2008. I don't know about this, uh, yeah, this is Adulthood, that's the second movie uh, that was released in 2008. That stars um, Durette and stars Noel Clark. And they kind of flipped the script. I'm trying to, this is going to be a little mini review of it. Um, I think the Adulthood is a way better than Kidderhood because it got more time to, and got more characters to flash out. Um, with this, it's just not enough time because it's an hour thirty minutes. You know, I don't know what they do. The movies do it sometimes. You know, they want. I think the like the original sc screen time is possibly like two hours. They, you know, they have to dumb it down for like ninety minutes. You know, closing that ninety minutes mark. You know, I, ninety minutes is not enough because it's not enough time to get those characters. You know, flesh out. 
none off character development. That could be the reason why, for me, it's it did okay, it did good, but not say fantastic. You know, it's, like I said, so it's sequels. You know, it's I don't know, kind of contradict myself, but it's kind of is. You know, you know, I think I think the Dot Hood's a little bit better than Kid Hood. That's just me. I don't know about Brotherhood. That's the third movie, and I think that's the final movie of the trilogy. Um, yeah, um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I think, I heard, I heard some reviews that, um, they the, the think, I think it's a re, the focus, they kind of reboot it, it was more like a reboot more than a sequel to the, the events of adulthood, um, I don't know, and I heard it's got Jason Mercer in it, I heard his performance was shit, I don't know much about it, I, think, I might review these movies in the future, so, anyway, and also, a little bit back on this Lenny character, he's about to kill Sam, I think Sam called him a, a pussy, he's about to shoot him, and the gun misfired. You know, it kind of like, it was malfunctioning or something. And, I think that's it. Um, that's the, I think, that, yeah, that's it. Um, uh, just, I think that'll cover m most of it. Like I said, it's just an hour, an hour, three minutes on Netflix. Go and check it out. Um, it's, you can find it on DVD. Um as well so yeah i give it i think my star rate for this movie i'm gonna give it three stars i don't give it three and a half stars it's not that bad but i think it was an enjoyable movie it's said of what's going to happen you know you know i think you know uh, you know a you know a mill i mean yeah his character was good you know the plot the plot thing is kind of like uh messy i wish i had more time to develop what's going on that's just me you know, it was fun. I think the, you know, yeah, the, yeah, I like the, I like the, I like, I like the, I like the, um, the swearing and, you know, and, and, the, and the shits, you know, the, you know, the crime, the sex and the drugs, you know. There was, yeah, 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 the, I think you had uh, one scene like Becky, you know, you know, basically, you know, snoking, snoking coke or something. I can't remember. I don't know what scene in this movie. I, I don't want to get into it. Um, anyway, so yeah, three stars. It's a good movie. Um, it made me a fan of hood TV shows and movies. I, I like the adult adulthood. So yeah, um, yeah, I get three stars. So that's my review of Kidderhood. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Smash the like button and subscribe to the Central Man Network on YouTube. And this is Central Man officially signing out. Check you later.